Oh, uh, yeah. And just like that, we're back. Uncle Bo Cow in the building once again. And I got a sauce here. Oh, yeah. This is garlic and onion ghost pepper sauce from Alchemy Hot Sauce. All right. So this, uh, this bottle was given to me by my friend Chase at Colfax Pepper Patch. And I just... I had it in the fridge, and I just did not see it because I had so much stuff in there. And I've been waiting to do a review on it. So uh, what better time than now? These guys are local. And I have tried some of their other sauces before. Got my Uncle Bo Cow pineapple spoon. You already know what it is. All right, let's go. Oh, look at the pour. Nice. Nice, thick, chunky sauce. You guys know that's... How you guys already know. Come on. I don't got to tell you. Mmm. Mmm. Getting that garlic. Getting that onion. Getting that ghost, that vinegar. Yep. Then the heat comes behind it. You guys know what ghost peppers, they, uh, they're kind of builders. So let's, 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 let's do a cracker bite. You guys see that? Mmm. That is so good. I don't remember exactly their other sauces, but I tried three or four of them. Out at uh, Colfax Pepper Patch. <clears throat> believe, believe it was a habanero one. Was was my favorite. It was off the charts, guys. Off the charts. Um, Chase gave me this one, and I've been waiting to review it. And then it got pushed to the back of the fridge, which is good. I'm actually running out of sauces to review. Still have some on stash. And I just got a new one in. But uh, I'm a lot lower than I was. I had, you know, a lot, a lot. But I eat so much hot sauce and bring it to work with me. So you guys will see me reviewing sauces at work when I go live. And uh, yeah. Times like this, I, I got the day off. Hey, guess what? I just germ I'm just germinating a bunch of seeds. So today I did one tray of 12 varieties, uh, six seeds of each variety, and another tray of 36 varieties. And I only did two seeds of each one of those. Um, looking to at least, you know, get one plant each. So yeah. My other seeds are doing well. Um, I had a little issues with the heat mat. The heat mat was just, it was heating up the middle of the trays too much. So, believe it or not, the outside perimeter, all the little cells that were on the outside actually germinated just fine. The middle is struggling. I think it just got too hot. Um, so, you know, you want your, your seeds to germinate between 80 and 90 degrees 95 is is pushing it um when you get over that though you can either cook the seeds or the, i've seen them before where you, they're at, you know they're 100 degrees and they're keeping it moist and it just won't pop but it, they'll survive because you'll see like a month or two later it's, the seed just germinates i don't know but um but besides that the two middle cells for some reason those things and i think they the temp i checked the temperature they were really really hot and so i have the new ones on thermostats so that isn't going to happen but that first batch was my test batch um i'm using a new soil this year um and also those are plants i'm just going to put out front so they were not my main thing they were just literally I got impatient and wanted to germinate some seeds, you know. I also wanted to test out the new lights I got. Um, what I found is, you know, I like to keep my 
my lights one to two inches from the seedlings when they first pop. That way they'll get bushy, um, they won't get leggy. Well, I've got two kinds of lights. Well, they're both the same, but one of them's 2,500 lumen and 6,000 Kelvin. The other one's 6,000 Kelvin also, but it's 5,000 lumen. When I had those seeds that close, uh, two inches from the 5,000 lumen, man, it burned one of the seedlings that was higher up, you know, it just burned it right up. Like that thing just like, you seen it, its leaves were burnt and it shriveled up and it died. So I'm glad that I tested that out. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do two inches, an inch, or even three. I think I'm going to do about four inches um, to be safe. And that way, I think they, they won't get super leggy and uh, they'll still, you know, they'll still be nice and bushy and strong. So guys, this has my stamp of approval. Garlic and Onion Ghost from Alchemy Hot Sauce. Yeah. Solid sauce, flavor, and heat. You guys know me. If a sauce... I, I, sometimes I like a milder sauce if it's got really good flavor. It's, it's real unique. Man, I like heat, too. This has both. Wow. Comment below if you've ever had Alchemy Hot Sauce. Comment below if you've ever had this one. Uncle Bokal, stamp of approval on this. Get there. Peace.